So the Rings of Power has just finished and I, so the Rings of Power have just finished. I really enjoyed the show. I didn't know, so I was scrolling through Amazon Prime and just clicked on this show without reading the title. So my first watch of this, I had no idea that it was connected to Lord of the Rings or that it, you know, it was a prequel. And I was picking up on things that I thought were familiar, but just didn't really think much of it. Until the next day when I tried finding it, I was like, what's that show that I was watching yesterday? And then saw the title, put the two together, and um, then was told about how it uh, broke law, didn't follow the books, didn't follow the movies. Uh, doesn't make sense. And uh, I must say, it, the, it was ruined for me slightly, uh, hearing all this, seeing all this, being told by friends about just how heartbroken they are that they went so off the grip or off the path. But um, still re really enjoyed the show, apart from a few really, really horrible scenes uh, the, where the elves are all running in on horse and then they all stop because Gladiel's in the box and it just seemed way, it just seemed horribly fake. Horribly, horribly fake. And uh, I also didn't like, uh, I won't focus too much on what I didn't like. There was a lot I did like and I thought I'd uh, go through now and just rank rank all of the uh, characters. So first up, <coughs> excuse me, Arrow Deer, Aaron Deer, Aaron Deer. Um, I, one of my favorite characters in the show, but ultimately pretty irrelevant. I just, I don't know, did. Uh, I liked the scenes he were in, he was in, but just, he definitely, the thing is he definitely wasn't poor or uninteresting. He was just around. Uh, I have no idea who this chick is, so she's going down there. Calibrimbor. Calibrimbor, yes, I was correct in that. Um, he was pretty solid. He was pretty solid. Uh, pretty stupid as well. Pretty stupid. He uh, seemingly loved pain and being tortured. Uh, maybe a bit of Stockholm Syndrome there. Uh, he, yeah. He just seemingly just loved suffer and be suffering at all times and then he'd escape and then he'd go straight back be like no i want to go back to suffering and pain so a bit strange there from yeah you know if you ask me all right uh this lady uh pretty solid pretty solid i liked i like Megusita, i guess hey this guy my main man wouldn't put him at favourite. He would be my favourite if he came slightly earlier and protected the elves. But obviously, he did have he did have stuff going on that he had to deal with. Like, ooh, don't ask what I'm watching there. Uh, right, this. Okay, <laughs> I just don't really know what she did or who she is. So I'm gonna put her right at the bottom. I think this might be Tom Bombadil. If this isn't Tom Bombadil, then I'm going to make this character Tom Bombadil. If for some reason it looks weird, not quite my favourite, good or interesting. I didn't, I didn't, or know, or still now know much about Tom Bombadil, and I think that's the idea behind it. So I'm not too stressed. Uh, I somewhat knew about it, so I can uh, somewhat understand. He kind of sh shined at the end, end though. But I think less is more with Tom Bombadil. I feel like we could have seen him once in the whole season of the whole show. And it would have been, you know, potentially the most impactful scene of this of all the seasons. But you know, whatever. Uh, this guy. I'm gonna put him there. I forgot his name though. Alright. Elven Twink Bitch. Uh, good and interesting, but using too many scenes. Gladriel, I think she did carry the show. She, and she did a fabulous job. Oh, that she talks like this in you know, all of the scenes, and she's got such a deep voice, and that doesn't quite match her voice. Um, Other than that, she did great. Gil, Gilglad. Gilglad. He got absolutely botched. He could have had some really cool scenes. Ultimately, just doesn't do much. 
If they use that photo for Sauron, looks like they might have done. Okay, so Sauron. As I said, I didn't know what I was watching at the start and did not know that this guy was Sauron. And the plot twist at the end was really good. Well, not at the end, like midway through. But anyway, I didn't see it coming and I really liked it. So he's at the top. Uh, however, he had some of the best acting in the show and also some of the worst in my opinion. So, you know, that's not that it means anything. Grand Elf. Grand Elf. Uh, again, I'm putting this guy quite high. I didn't know that they were referring to Gandalf. And I was kind of hoping that it wasn't Gandalf the whole time and some other magic being. But, you know, still, I loved the plot. Other than the halflings. Didn't like the halflings. Um, you, you know, he made that worth watching because I was so invested in who the hell this guy was and ultimately carried me through I'd say two season two was like me wanting to find out who this guy is I uh, don't know that guy don't know that guy uh, I mean he's fine he's not irrelevant but he's poor and not interesting uh, is that Poppy? no that's uh, I don't know who that lady is might even be a man I don't know who that person is I did watch the show, by the way, and really enjoyed it. Uh, poor, yeah, I didn't like the halflings thing. Honestly, it just went on and on. These guys were kind of cool. I'm gonna put them down solid. Sorry, I shouldn't really be doing the review like this. This guy is a pain in the ass. Excuse my language. Uh, and I think he has got a bigger role to play in season three. I wouldn't say he was poor or uninteresting. I'm just going to put her down there. I don't think she should have even made it on the list. Uh, I prefer... I don't want him on the same level as the rest. And this guy was alright. He usually had pretty good acting. Right. I think that was way too long anyway. See you in the next one. Peace.